Greetings, fellow captains. In the previous episode, we finished reviewing the warship classes. Today, we'll talk about different game modes and how they influence combat tactics. At the moment, World of Warships has three game modes, Standard Battle, Encounter Battle, and Domination. Standard Battle. It's a classic. Two teams, two bases. The battle is over when every ship on a team is destroyed, the time runs out, or the enemy base is captured. The first two outcomes are clear, but capturing bases in World of Warships has its nuances. A base can't be captured instantly. You'll need to stay within the base limits for a specific length of time, 180 seconds in this case. Earned capture points are displayed at the top of the screen. If an ally joins you, the capture rate increases by 50%. However, once there are two other ships capturing the base, the rate won't increase if another ship joins you. So why should other players join the capture if two or more ships are already there? The problem is, any hit on a capturing ship reduces its capture points by half. So if several ships stay within the capture limits, a successful hit on one of them doesn't affect the progress of other players. Remember, only direct hits can reduce capture points. If you set the enemy on fire with an HE shell, the fire damage won't interrupt the capture. It's important to know that if an allied ship enters your base whilst it's being captured by the enemy, their capture progress stops. If the enemy leaves the base, all the capture points are discarded. These mechanics are the same across all World of Warships game modes. In the standard battle mode, each ship class has its own tactics. Aircraft carriers are best used for providing quick air reconnaissance. Destroyers should provide smoke screens to hide allies in key areas. And battleships, supported by cruisers, select a flank and then hold this position or push through to the enemy base. At the same time, it is important to protect your own base. Of course, in the standard battle mode, each team prefers to completely destroy enemy forces. However, if your allies take a beating, the time runs out, or the few remaining enemy destroyers are hiding from you, go capture their base instead of looking for the elusive cowards. The encounter battle mode, unlike standard battles, has only one base in the center of the map. The objectives remain the same – capture the base or destroy all enemies. The capture time in this mode is increased for all maps – 240 seconds. What makes this game mode interesting? It provokes close quarters clashes amongst players around or inside the base. Destroyers and cruisers, supported by battleships and aviation, actively battle to control the base. Often players get carried away in fierce naval conflicts and completely forget about capturing the base. It is important to consider all the aspects of battle and coordinate team efforts to achieve victory in this mode. Domination – the most dynamic game mode. At the start of a battle, each team has 300 domination points. A team wins by earning 1,000 points or suffers defeat by losing all their domination points or ships. Each map, depending on its size, has from 3 to 5 control zones, which require 45 seconds to capture. If ships from both teams are simultaneously in domination zone, then the capture process stops. Once you capture a zone, you will continuously score domination points. The more zones you control, the faster you score points. Don't forget that the enemy can always seize the initiative, recapture a control zone and use it to their advantage. How else can you win? You earn domination points by destroying enemies. The bigger the ship, the more points you get. 
If time runs out, the team with the most points wins. In this mode, teams are usually divided into several groups and sail to different flanks. The more agile destroyers and cruisers take lead. They are the first to reach control zones, capture them and hold them until the arrival of the main allied forces. Then battleships and aircraft carriers join the attack, supporting more maneuverable ships with powerful strikes at long distance. The upper hand can move from one team to another several times during a battle. To relax for even a minute means losing your advantage and precious domination points. Lively gameplay is guaranteed. That's all for today. Our next episode will help you master the art of artillery fire. You'll learn answers to the following important questions. Where is the citadel located and how to hit it? Where to fire to make magazines explode? We'll tell you all about the ship designs. Until next time.